everybody. Today we'll show you how to get your SDVL ready for dive. First of all, I would like to remind you that to do everything properly, you need a 14 millimeter wrench and an Allen wrench, size 4 millimeters. This is obviously to be able to attach to your high pressure hose to your first stage and to our battery pack. That said, let's uh, show you how it's done. We find it easier to initially attach the female end of the hose directly to your battery pack. However, bottom line is attach the high pressure hose to your first stage and the battery pack. You choose whichever method is best for you. Okay, once we attach it this way, set the battery pack down so it doesn't fall. Grab your Allen wrench. High pressure seat. If you want to keep your standard uh, SPG, obviously, which is on your left hand side, then you attach your battery pack on the right hand side. That's up to you. The trick here is since there is a swivel in this part of the hose, the hose rotates. This way it allows us to go into the port, keeping the hose straight, and being able to screw in the hose. Now you grab your wrench, a little tight here, and obviously also on the end where the battery pack is. Okay, and obviously also on the end where the battery pack is, slightly just snug, and you're good to go. Now, what you want to do is bring in the battery pack inside the cam band of your tank, so just loosen the band a bit, slide it through. Position it where you like best and close the strap. What we need to do is connect uh, our SDL visor with our battery pack. Uh, if you notice, uh, we have two types of different uh, connectors. Uh, one is known as the four pin because two plus two makes four. The other one is known as a six pin, three plus three makes six. Obviously, you just match three with three, so you have six. And match two with two, so it makes four. At this point, uh, what we need to do now is we need to wet the contacts. So just simply, you see these two little, where the little screws are. Wet them with your fingers. And uh, keep it on for a couple seconds. At this point, the LEDs should do an idle test. All the LEDs will turn on, as you see, and this tells you right away that everything works properly. This will last for a couple seconds, and then obviously there is no gas. We haven't opened the tank pressure yet, so the LEDs are, are off, and the red uh, is flashing to tell you that your tank is closed or you're in reserve. And since we're not underwater, obviously the blue LEDs uh, are not signaling any depths. So if you want to see, the pressure, all we do is open our tank, and if you notice, all the green lights turn on. Therefore, we know now the tank is full. Now that we have the tank turned on, and we know that all the legs are functioning, we can do two more uh, checks uh, just to be more sure and safe on our dives. Uh, first one is, with our switch here at the bottom, we can shut off our LEDs and turn them back on, or we can regulate the intensity. So we see that they become brighter, as you noticed. Uh, and then dimmer. This way I am 100% sure that everything is working properly. Now that we have checked uh, all the LEDs as far as the shield display goes, uh, the last thing we have to do is check our visor lights. That is a very simple operation. All we do is hit the other switch, uh, verify that the LEDs all turn on, and if you want, shut it off and turn it on one more time. And now that we know that everything is operational, we can go and enjoy our dive.